Good morning, everyone. It's another edition of Spartans. Not live. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, April 30th, and it is a C day. Mr. Woods, what do we got for birthdays today? Birthdays. Uh, for today, we have Paul Robinson, and that's it. Paul, enjoy the day on your own. Enjoy your birthday. I hope it's a great one. All right. Happy birthday, Paul. Um, I'm going to go. I have a quote of the day. I'm going to save it for tomorrow because the same person submitted a joke of the day. We're going to go with them for tomorrow. Today, we'll go two jokes of the day. Student joke, Connor Lopez from the Maroon team. What is fast, loud, and crunchy? Fast, loud, and crunchy. Go ahead, Mr. Parasino. A rocket chip. Oh, I see what they did there. They changed the old S to a C, made ship chip. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Be careful how you pronounce those, Mr. Woods. Right. We bet. With a P. With a P. Yeah, exactly. Good job, buddy. And the next submission is from Mrs. Seymour of the Yellow Team. Miss Seymour, she, uh, is she the one with the new teaching assistant? Doesn't she have some uh, Russian teaching assistant with her now, too? Yes, yes, yes. I'm ashamed to say I can't remember off the top of my head the name. It'll come to me. Um, why did the barber win the race? Why did the barber win the race? Like the barber Seville or – anyway, go ahead. He knew a shortcut. Uh, I see what she did there. Yep. little fun fact for our students and for everybody about Mrs. Seymour. I just saw that ABC brought back the show – who wants to be a millionaire? Ah. Mrs. Seymour did appear on that show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, at the time under her last name at the time was Fody. And I think you can YouTube that and uh, watch. It was one of the day ones with Meredith. She didn't get to meet Regis, um, but she was on the show. A little fun fact for Mrs. Seymour. That's good to know. Good to know. Well, uh, listen, today was uh, – Today was day one of the videos. I know teachers were setting some videos up. I know some, you know, other uh, appointments are being made for uh, tomorrow and next week. So I hope the kids, uh, hope you guys really enjoyed seeing one another. I know uh, that's been a, a, a theme that I've I've heard from some kids that have emailed me. So um, you know, feel free to let us know how it is, and and we'll take it from there. And speaking of, that's a great segue here into what I was going to say. Letting us know how it is. In this remote learning world, um, while now it has been seven weeks, we are looking to continuously improve. And the last wave of surveys is coming through. Our students might have seen a survey from Mrs. Solano, um, our assistant superintendent, really looking for some feedback from our students on how the remote learning experience is going from their viewpoint. And I know you and I really take that the results of those surveys. Seriously, we, we spend uh, quite a bit of time then diving into them together with some of our staff members um, to, to try to make sure that student voice is heard. So please, uh, if you see that email that came across yesterday, uh, if you could take a couple of minutes to, to fill it out, we would appreciate your feedback. Always the feedback is great. We try to uh, be very responsive to the feedback. So if we see any trends or or patterns in the feedback, uh, we do our best to make sure we uh, we write them to, to make something successful for all of our students, all of our students. So um, I think it's a light night tonight, light day, morning, if you will, at Spartans Not Live. Uh, so um, this is uh, Mr. Woods signing off. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Parasino, I totally screwed that up. Go ahead. That's all right, Mr. Woods. You can't mess anything up today. You have like a halo coming out from behind you. you know, I'm Angelic, if you will. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's get on with this. This is Mr. Woods. This is Mr. Parasino. You're watching another edition of Spartans. Not live. Have a great day, everybody. C-Day.